Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efene. Great Malabite. Good morning. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufa. Good morning, sir. Good morning Victoria Tundu, MK Abiola. Good morning, Mr. Efene. Yes, we start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story, PDP wants Machawale vows to challenge his defection in court. Yes, ahead of uh, today's defection of the Zamfara state governor, Bello Matawale, the PDP has sent that warning signal that he, the party is going to challenge uh, his defection, stressing that the defection amounts to uh, a decision to vacate the office as no law allows him to cross over to any other party with the governorship mandate statutorily given to the main opposition party. PDP also informed the governor that his defection will be challenged in court. The new, the, this day is reporting. Now, other newspapers are also reporting on this Zamfara situation. The Nigerian Tribune newspaper, our defecting governors lack courage, threatens to PDP, threatens to challenge them for a government, governor in court. 18 APC governors said to receive Matawale. National State Assembly members, PDP escorts at all levels in the state to also defect to APC. Yes, yesterday the PDP also announced the dissolution of the PDPS Executive Council in uh, Zamfara State. Now, other reports, the, the Champion newspaper, the Daily Champion newspaper also reporting on this story. Corrupt poli defection, corrupt politicians who join APC not immune from prosecution, autumn. Now the daily, the daily independent newspaper also has a perspective on this. Defections, APC, a highly unprincipled party, Professor Ishes Sage says PDP governors joining ruling party are opportunists. According to the professor, uh, Professor Ishes Sage, who is the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption. Obviously, he's a member of the ruling party, but he is saying that the ruling or progressive Congress for a line elected, governors elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party to into his fold shows that the party is highly unprincipled. According to him, the governors who are defecting to the APC are highly unprincipled and opportunists who want to remain relevant. Now, perhaps more governors are on the way because according to the governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, 10 PDP governors will join the, uh, 10 PDP governors will join the APC. And of course, only last week, he visited the governor of uh, Abia State, Okeze Ikpiazo. Is there anything in the works from that end also? Well, the governor of Abia State has denied that. But again, Ruben, like you recalled, Matawali, Bello Matawali once swore that he will not leave the PDP. But here we are today, there's a grand reception to welcome him into the APC. Now, for clarity, um, Tundu, perhaps you want to shed some light on that. Why will Autumn, when he defected from PDP to the, no, from APC to the PDP ahead of the 2019 election, nobody asked him to leave, to, to vacate his seats as governor. But this time around, 
the PDP that was the beneficiary the other time is now saying that Matawale should vacate the seat as governor if he defects. Some light on that, please. Tundu. Well, I can only imagine, right? I can only speculate that it's to do with the peculiarities of how Governor Matawale found himself as governor of Zamfara. You recall, he did not win the election. PDP did not win. It was, um, it would have, the victory would have gone to APC. But APC's defective primaries happened, and the whole, whatever they tried to build on that foundation, collapsed, according to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, in a rather unusual move, in a rather illogical, in my opinion, move, decided to award, all across the board, victory to the party that came second, which was PDP, in all but two situations in the House of Assembly, in the Zamfara House of Assembly. PDP got the prize in the end, which is highly unusual for a court to award a relief that was not sought. When the act says quite clearly that fresh elections should be held, section 140 and 141, fresh elections should be held, the court decided to just hand it over to the next person. So in view of that, PDP is, uh, might be taking umbrage at um, Governor Matawali for the fact that he did not win that election, either as an individual, not even as a party. The victory went to PDP in the Supreme Court, not to him as an individual. So PDP, they are the owners of the mandate, not the individual. Across the board. It's not exclusive to Governor Matawali. So for him to think he can defect and, you know, without an objection, I think is quite ambitious of him. Ruben, I think they're going to go to court. Ruben and Rufai on this matter. Ruben. Well, as I said earlier, Section 177 of the Constitution is very clear. Uh, but two quick uh, points uh, that I would like to draw attention to, and also very relevant is Section 68, Subsection 1G, uh, which addresses the issue of defection and circumstances under which you can defect. And another relevant section of the Constitution uh, would seem to be Section 109, uh, which also refers to uh, you know, how politicians uh, and their relationship with their political parties. The PDP going to uh, court will provide us an opportunity uh, to test the law. Previously, you know, uh, politicians just take it for granted. Oh, you can cross carpet. You can move from one side of the aisle to the other. And this dates back all the way uh, to the First Republic. But oftentimes, we have many of these laws uh, out there, but we don't test them. And then you also have the uh, funny situation whereby where legislators are concerned, uh, the dominant party, if it is a beneficiary, will cover it up uh, one way or the other. But I hope that we'll get to a point whereby you know, people will continue to summon the courage to test what exactly the law says. We should not continue to give the impression uh, that the rule of law is relevant and political expediency is more important. There are two things. Governor Autumn, on this matter, that's Governor uh, Samuel Autumn of the yes. State, has been quoted by one of the papers today that, well, whoever is crossing from one party to the other uh, should be aware that that will not provide them immunity from prosecution for uh, corrupt uh, practices. In other words, whatever anybody who is crossing from one political party to the other uh, is seeking uh, may not necessarily uh, include immunity from prosecution or investigation uh, as appropriate. Professor but, Ishe Saki. But the Oshomole theory is still there. Well, Once you come to APC, all your sins are forgiven. Well, but Sam, I'm just quoting Samuel Elton. And, and only, the principal only last week, Ruben, just to add, only senator, last week, yes. a certain senator from my state, yes. Peter Wamboshi, yes. was cleared at the court. And the next minute, he was in the APC. Any relationship between that case and his defection? Well, look, we can, we can look at motives and all of that. But the ruling party, the APC, they've consistently given examples that, look, even if you join their party, it doesn't avail you of any immunity uh, from prosecution for wrongdoing. And Senator, uh, Professor Ishe Sage, uh, who is a professor of law, who is also a member of the APC, has said, look, people defecting and jumping into the APC uh, is a sign of uh, opportunism on the part of the defectors. And I think that the APC is also unprincipled in, uh, you know, admitting all of these people. And he made a point. He said the uh, chairman of the party, the interim chairman of the party, is buying people from other political parties uh, to come and join 
the APC. That's a very serious allegation. And Professor Sage uh, should know the weight of that allegation. Were these people bought? Were they induced? Were they intimidated? Were they blackmailed? Because it looks like you know, a trend that we'll continue to see. I mean, Mr. Feni, you know we both share passion for football. All of this that is happening, people decamp, is just like football transfer. It's transfer season. Uh, except that in politics, we expect... So, so you are saying there are some pecs underneath this defection. You, you, know, you know, even this defection... Pecs, promises, Mr. Feni, behind this defection. You know this defection, some are loan, some are full transfer. So anyway, thank back. you very much, Emmanuel Feni. <laughs> we'll see you again tomorrow.